According to the World Health Organization, 90% of rural households throughout the developing world rely on biomass, such as wood and crop residues, for their cooking needs. Burning these materials inside their homes causes respiratory illnesses that have been devastating to families throughout the developing world. In these areas, the respiratory illnesses from indoor air pollution have been internationally recognized as the fourth leading cause of death, behind starvation, unsafe sex, and unclean drinking water. Yanayo is comprised of roughly 23 households, approximately 100 people, and has a high incidence of Chagas disease and tuberculosis. For the past 500 years, this community has relied on traditional rain-fed farming for their existence. For the past 15 years, the village has seen a drought diminish its crops, and thus its food supply and livelihood. Disease incidence is aggravated by poor nutrition, non-potable water, poor sanitation, thatched roof housing, and smoke-filled kitchens. Approximately 40% of Bolivia's 8.3 million people still live in rural areas. Most of them are farmers. Nearly 90% live in poverty. San Francisco director Cecil B. Feeder and a small crew will give the audience a close-up look at a culture struggling to survive and the people working to help them. The challenge they face is awesome. Bolivia is politically unstable, and access to safe food, water, and medicine is limited. An Engineers Without Borders assessment team will visit the Bolivian Andes this month to determine what is needed to build a sustainable infrastructure of schools, water systems, medical facilities, agriculture, and housing. Work begins in July, 2008. <laughs> Using indigenous music and all new documentary footage, Welcome to Yanayo will take its audience to the remote mountains of Bolivia. Through interviews, the Bolivian people and Engineers Without Borders volunteers will tell their own stories as they work together to alleviate suffering in the region. <laughs> The Engineers Without Borders' main objective is to work with disadvantaged communities worldwide to improve their quality of life. The central tenet of the organization is to build a better world, one community at a time. They work to interrupt the cycle of poverty using methods designed to ensure long-term effectiveness. Through local contribution, collective ownership, and time, EWB strives to ensure a more equitable and sustainable world. <laughs> 